everyone. This morning I'm going to do a morning meeting and then I'm going to read a really fun book. Um, so let's start out by singing What's the Weather. Can you sing with me? Ready? What's the weather, weather, weather? What's the weather out today? Mm, at my house it is sunny. And what is it like at your house today? That's great. Now I'm gonna do the letter guesser. So I'm gonna hold this letter and I'm gonna feel it. I'm not gonna look at it, but I can tell it has straight lines for this way, a straight line that goes up and down. I think it's the letter E. Nope, it's the letter F. Whose name starts with that sound? It's kind of a fun one. We'll do one more, okay? And I'm gonna take it in, take it, and I'm gonna hold it. I'm not gonna look at it. I can tell it has up and down lines, like up and down. Hmm. I think it's the letter W. <gasps> I'm right. Did you think it was the letter W? Wha, wha, watermelon, water. Can you think any letter? Oh, sorry, any words that start with the wha? You can think about it. Next, we're gonna do the emotions displayer. So I'm gonna hold it. And I'm going to go like this. Hmm. What do you think I'm feeling? Do you think I may be thinking about something? <laughs> Can you make that? Your hand scratching here. Hmm, let me think about it. I'm gonna do one more. And, oh, this is funny. I don't even know what to call this one, but it's like this. Maybe I'm worried or anxious. Can you make that face? Can you put your hands on your cheeks and go, Ooh. it's kind of funny. All right. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna do a check-in and I'm gonna say, Mm, I'm feeling um, pretty good, pretty good. I'm happy to be doing this video and um, I'm also kind of still feeling sad because I miss everybody, but I'm kind of getting used to it. Are you getting used to staying home? How are you feeling? All right, now we're gonna read a really fun book called Giant Underpants by Mark Fearing. Can you see what's going on in that picture? I think he's feeling embarrassed maybe. Can you make that face? Ooh, don't look. Before I start this book, I want to talk about our weekly activities that we're going to be working on. Um, I want to work on doing chores this week. So a lot of the activities we're going to do really are about doing chores and helping out around the house because you guys are such great helpers, all right? And I want you to think of some ways that this giant could have... Um, been a little more organized and maybe it would have helped out a lot. We'll talk about that at the end of the book. Bilbum was a giant and like most giants, he was good at stomping, napping, and losing things. Like he's sleeping right there. 
He's stomping right there. I think he's holding a cow on this picture. One morning, he lost something very important. His pants. Belvin had only one pair of pants, pants which the tailor in the town had made just for him. And now they were lost. He searched his whole house. He looked in the pot of food. He looked in his teacup. Do you think that's a good place to look for pants? I don't think so. After keeping peeping outside to make sure nobody was watching, he searched his backyard. No pants. Giants are also good at being, how do you think he's feeling? Look at that face. What would you say he's feeling? I think he's feeling angry. Where are my pants? He said. Uh-oh, look at this huge mess on the ground that he's made. Unfortunately, that didn't help him find his pants, but it did make a big mess. Then he had thought, hmm, maybe his friends could help. He checked that no one was around to see him, and then he headed off into the woods. First, he went to see his friend, Polyphemus, the Cyclops. I've lost my pants, Belbum explained. Can I borrow a pair of yours? <laughs> and his friend said, I only wear togas. Do you see what a toga is? It's just one piece of cloth that goes over the shoulder. Belbum tried it on. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. Look at that face. Uh, I need pants. Did you look at your house? Polyphemus asked. Of course I did, Belbin roared and marched away. He went straight to the old Grit, who was a very wise gnome. Look at that cool house they have. There's a ladder that goes on up into the tree. I've lost my pants, Belbin said. Oh, I can see that, said old Grit. You can try a pair of mine. They're stretchy. <laughs> Do you think his pants are gonna fit on this giant? <laughs> like he's trying to make it work. Belbum tried them on. Not stretchy enough, he bellowed. Look at all the gnomes, watch them go away. <laughs> They're like, hmm. Did you search your room, old Grit asked? Yes, Belbum yelled as he stomped off. He found Lucy the unicorn and told her that he had lost his pants. I don't wear pants or I would let you try some on, she suggested. I have tried going without pants and I don't like it. Have you checked your dresser? Lucy called, but Belva already had stormed off. He needed pants, giant pants. And there was only one way to get them. He had to walk to the tailor in town with no pants. Uh-oh, I think his face is a little bit red. How do you think he's feeling in that picture? He's being kind of brave, I think, because he doesn't have any pants on. But he's still embarrassed. When he got there, the tailor made him a new pair of pants. Bilbum even decided to get a few extra pairs. On his way back, he gave each of his friends a pair of pants, just in case he ever lost them again. See the unicorns using it as like a scarf. The gnomes are using it. Here's a big tent. The Cyclops is using it for a head, a hat or something. Oh, this is so cute. When he got home, he cleaned up the mess. 
he had made and put away his new pants. And that's when he found his old pants. Yeah, it was the drawer he didn't look in. The end. Have you ever lost something? I have. I feel like I've looked everywhere, maybe except for the place they were supposed to be. Um, I hope you really like this story and this video and um, I hope you have a really good day. Bye.